This is how you can code a moderation logging system for your discord.js of version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Keep in mind what I'm going to be showing you is just some of the things you can do with this, but you can do many, many more. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we have all of the intents defined because for moderation logging, you're going to need a lot of intents. If your bot is verified and you don't have all the intents, just be careful with this. But if you're not verified, then you can just go ahead and go into your intents or your client constructor right here. So in here, what we can do is we can say object dot keys and then we can do gateway intent bits just like that and that's all you're gonna have to do so then we can go ahead and scroll down still in the index.js file we can just go ahead and make a comment here so we know everything below is moderation logging so we can just do mod logs or something like that and we can go ahead and start so um, the most complicated one I would say is the channel create um, and the channel delete so we're gonna go ahead and start with that one and then we'll keep going down so we can do client dot on events dot channel create we can do comma async channel arrow function and open that up. We can go ahead and fetch the logs. So we can do channel.guild.fetch audit logs. We can go ahead and open this up. So we can say type audit log event dot channel create just like that. And we can say dot then in here we can go ahead and say async audit and open this up with an arrow function just like that. Then we can go ahead and define the executor. So we can do const um, executor and then we can do equals audit.entries.first, just like that. Then we can come down here and make a few consistents. We can do const name equals channel dot name. We can do const ID equals channel dot ID. We can say let type equals channel dot type. We can come down here and because there's a bunch of different channel types, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make a couple of if statements for each channel type so that if uh, the type is equal to a certain number, then we'll know that we have to send a text or voice or stage or form or whatever. So we can do if type equals equals zero, we can do type equals text. We can come down here, we can say if type equals equals, and we can do two, then we can do type again, and we can set that to voice. We can do it again, so we can do if type equals equals, this time we're gonna do 13, we can let our type equals stage, just like that. And we can say if type equals equals 15, we can do type equals, in here we can say form. Then we can do if type equals equals five, we can say type equals, and here we can say announcement, we can do one more, so we can do if type equals equals four, we can do type equals category, just like that. Now we can go ahead and get the channel ID of the logs channel. So you can either make this multi-guild or single guild. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to make it single guild, but if you would like to set up quick DB or MongoDB for this, go ahead and do that. Um, but for me, I'm just going to do const channel ID, and in here we're going to go ahead and get the channel ID. As you can see, I have an audit logs category right here. I can just uh, call it logs or something like that. And we can go ahead and copy the ID and paste that right here. We're going to actually go ahead and get the channels. We can do const m channel equals await channels.guild.channels.cache.git, and we can pass in our channel ID uh, consistent from above. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder, just like that. We can do dot set color. And because these are logs, I'm just gonna make it red for now um, because it's logs and it's kind of urgent, I guess. We can say dot set title and we can pass in our channel created, just like that. We can do add fields and we can say name and we'll pass in our channel name. Then we'll say value, and in here we can say name, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and actually put some parentheses here. We're going to actually make it a channel, so we can do the uh, arrow, hashtag, and then we can open this up and pass in our ID and finish that off there. So that actually highlights the channel. We can add a comma here, and we can say inline, and we'll set this to false. Uh, you can do true or false, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then we can go ahead and copy the field, and we can paste it down here. We can change this to channel type, just like that. So for the value, we're just going to go ahead and pass in the type variable that we have above. We're going to go ahead and remove this. We can go ahead and copy this again because we are going to need it down here. So you go ahead and paste that in. And we're going to do channel ID. And we can just pass in our channel ID just like that. We can paste it again. We can go ahead and say created by. In here, we can do executor.tag just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and set a timestamp. And we can also set a footer. And we can say text. In here, we can say mod logging system or something like that and then we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do m channel send and we'll pass in our embed just like this all right so now we can actually go ahead and copy this and do the exact same thing for the channel delete so we can paste this down here we can go ahead and change a couple of things so we can do channel delete just like that in here we're going to say channel 
delete as well. We're gonna keep everything the exact same. We are just gonna go ahead and change the embed a little bit. We're gonna change created by to deleted by just like that. And we can actually go ahead and remove this ID because there's no longer gonna be a channel as well. So we can remove the parentheses ID just like that. And it should look like this. So we can keep this the same. It will work perfectly fine. We can go ahead and move on to the ban. So we can actually copy this again because we are gonna use the same general format. So we can go ahead and paste it in here. We're gonna change events to guild ban add, just like that. Right here we can do guild ban add as well. Then we can go ahead and remove all of these types just like that. So it should look like this. We're also gonna change this to member because we are adding a ban. And then we can go down here and say member. We can say member here as well. We'll say member up here. And one more, we can say it down here as well. So right here, we're gonna change this from member.name to member.user.username, just like that. And right here, we can say member.user.id, just like that as well. Then we can go ahead and change our embed, so we can change the title to uh, member band. We can change this a little bit, so we can change the channel name to member name. And we can keep the name, but we're gonna go ahead and put that ID back in here, so we can pass in our ID and then at symbol. Uh, just like this we can go ahead and remove the channel type and we can go ahead and change the ID to member ID Just like that we can say band by executor tag and that's gonna be good for the guild ban ad So we're gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna do one for an unban so we can go ahead and paste it down here We can do guild ban remove just like this we can change that right here as well guild ban remove and we can go ahead and change a few things in the embed. Everything else will be good. So member unbanned, we can say unbanned right here. Member name, uh, member ID, we can say unbanned by, just like that. And that's all we have to do there. Uh, so we're gonna do two more, but keep in mind, you can do as many as you want. You can uh, use the client dot on and fetch as many events as you would like, but we're just gonna do some message deletes because that's pretty much all you guys really need to know. Um, but you can do some more if you would like. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna paste it down here. Here. And right here we can change this to message delete. We can change this to message delete as well. We can then go ahead and remove the name and ID right here and we can replace that with const mess we'll say I guess and we can do message.content. We can add a semicolon and then we can say if no mess or message um, we can just return just like that. So then we're gonna go ahead and alter the embed so we can do message deleted just like that. We can say message content, just like that. And in here, we can pass in the mess, just like that. We can also remove the ID from right here. We can go ahead and change this to message channel. In here, we can pass in our message dot channel, just like that. We can change this to deleted by, and we can leave our executor dot tag. And that's all we're gonna have to do for that. Then we can actually do a message edit. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. We'll go down here. We can do message update, just like that. We'll do message update, just like that as well. We're gonna keep all of this the same. We're just gonna go ahead and change the embed a little bit. So in here, we're gonna do old message, and then we can pass in a new message right here. Just like that. We are gonna go up here and we're gonna put this in parentheses. We can just do comma new message, just like that. And then in here, in our new message uh, field, we can pass in the new message uh, from above, just like that. We can say edited by, uh, which is kind of redundant, but we'll leave it in anyways. Um, and that's all we're gonna have to do. And we can just go ahead and send it like usual. Uh, so there are many, many more things you can do with this, um, but I'm not gonna show them all. I think these are just the most important and I think these should help you get the idea of what you can kind of do. You can always use the discord.js docs to help you with this, but this is kind of the general idea. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test all of these out. I did make a slight error here. I said Chan type. Just make sure you put that L in and I'm assuming I messed it up down here as well. So just make sure you fix that if you did make that error has to be channel type. I did make another error as well. So if you wrote await channels.guild that channels that cash dot get, you're gonna want to replace that everywhere. So just make sure you do await channel dot guild dot channels that cash dot get. You may need to replace that in a few other places because we did go ahead and copy this. So we can do channel just like that. We can go ahead and scroll down here. In other places it might say member and members fine. Uh, member, member. One more thing that we can do is we can actually go ahead and change this from member to message because this is a message. We'll update this here just like that and we can update this here as well then we can go ahead and do that right here so member message and uh, we'll update that in a few places so we can do message and we can also do message right here 
Then we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and try to create a channel, just like that. And as you can see, it's going to send a message in the logs. It's going to say channel created. It's going to give the name. It's also going to allow you to click on the channel and bring you there. It's going to go ahead and say the channel type, so text. It's going to give the ID, so if we copy that and put it in here, just like that, it will work. Um, and it's going to say created by um, me. And as you can see, I did delete that message and it deleted as well. It did say the message content was the channel. Um, and it says the channel was logs, which does make sense because I passed it in like this. Um, but if I were to just paste that ID and go ahead and delete that, um, it's going to say the message content was the ID. So now we can actually test out some other things. So we can actually create a, uh, let's say, stage channel. Just like that, we'll give some random roll. And as you can see, it's gonna say the type was stage. So just make sure you have the accurate numbers in there, um, like I showed in the video, so that uh, it will give you the accurate channel type. Now we can actually go ahead and try to delete some of these unneeded channels. So if we go ahead and delete this one, it's gonna go ahead and say channel created. Uh, just make sure you make it say channel deleted, cause that was a little mistake. While you're changing it to channel deleted, just make sure you have it so the uh, message edit is message edited instead of message deleted. We can try it again by deleting some of these other channels as you can see it's gonna say channel deleted uh, we'll just clear out the rest of these as you can see it's working perfectly another thing we can test out is we can go ahead and test out editing a message so I'm just gonna edit this to say edited message or something like that and as you can see it's gonna say message edited uh, old message it's gonna give me this which was what I had here and then it's gonna give me the new message which was the edited message right there it's gonna say edited by me but of course I'm the only one who can edit it next we can go ahead and test out uh, banning and unbanning so we can go ahead and just do slash ban and we can pass in that ID and as you can see it's gonna go ahead and ban uh, the user and it's gonna say member ban so that's uh, me or my alt it's gonna give me the ID and it's gonna say banned by Esky because that's the bot that banned it. Uh, just keep that in mind. If we check the ID, it is going to be me or my all just like that. We can now go ahead and test the unban. So we can do slash unban. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say member unbanned me my id and sky just like that so that's how you can code a moderation logging system uh like i mentioned before there are plenty of other things you can do um but if you would like to do that you can go ahead and play around with that i've kind of given you the format in which you can uh, do it in and i've given you some basic ones if you'd like you can check out the discord.js docs um to get the event names that you need to listen for these specific uh actions um but yeah if you need any help with this go ahead and join the discord server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out um be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video